And good afternoon, everyone. This is Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor. My name is Jim, and this is the Friday Afternoon QSO VLOC Network. This is a directed network, and I am net control. If at any time during this net, should an emergency arise, please notify net control, and we'll stand by and allow those in need to access this frequency. Is there any priority or emergency traffic at this time? And hearing nothing, we will continue. This net is all about ham radio and being all that you can be. That's what our QSO VLOG network is all about. Trying to help people achieve the best sounding station possible. Thanks for dropping by. FYI, my background is 50 years in commercial broadcasting, where a lot of big bucks are spent on audio processing equipment and getting it set up correctly to get the loudest, best sounding station possible. Well, long story short, when I became a ham radio operator, I could hear immediately a large discrepancy in on-air technical proficiency. A lot of stations were running with very poor mic equalization, very muddy, with little articulation. And as I continued to work stations, I realized most of the stations were also running very low average peak modulation, many around 30% of average peak modulation. So with my background, I felt I could help, or at least try. I knew that most modern-day ham transceivers did have enough onboard processing equipment to be able to overcome most all of the problems. So, it would just be a matter of developing a generic dynamic range setup procedure and then adjusting the onboard EQ gear. And so I started the QSO VLOC network with the phrase, if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. And today we're currently featuring over 2100 QSO VLOG air check recordings. And you can access these recordings by going to YouTube and doing a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word logbook. And we also have a new series called KC9VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor followed by the word Highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical, more human nature, philosophical kinds of QSOs, such as my favorite called Something to Crow About. That's KC9VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. Both KC9VKV Logbook and KC9VKV Highlights are segments of our main YouTube homepage of Jim's Radio Story, where we calibrate and celebrate a 50-year career in commercial broadcasting, a 50-year journey through uh, from a pirate radio station as a 12-year-old to production director of a major 50,000-watt AM broadcast facility. And the thing that makes this truly a unique story is that I have the actual audio masters from all along the way. Over 2,600 shows, including many full-length music uh, concerts and radio documentaries. You'll have to check it out on a YouTube search. Jim Ferguson's, or Jim's radio story, on a YouTube search. Our mission statement for the QSO VLOC network is to establish a higher technical level of radio transmissions of the human voice by the intelligent utilization of available electronics in current amateur radio transceivers. Our setup, while generic in nature, converts the average 10 dB dynamic range transmitter with an average 30% of peak modulation to a much fuller 3 dB dynamic range with an average 80 to 85% of peak modulation. This substantial boost in audio transmit level is extremely beneficial in high noise levels and heavy QRM. It allows you to punch through when others fail. The second part of our transmitter setup has to do with proper mic equalization. We're looking to optimize the transmitted voice for a higher degree of intelligibility through the use of EQ patterns that bring out the articulation aspects of the human voice. Again, why need to hear the voice if you can't understand the words? Also this afternoon on the receive side, we're running four internet SDR receivers monitoring New York, Pennsylvania, Georgia, and Virginia, trying to get the best copy from our 100 watt friends. Now the audio from these four SDR receivers comes up on a six position rotary selector. Also on this selector is our local receiver audio. 
and today our local receiver is running three large 10-foot vertical magnetic loop antennas. One aimed at zero degrees, one aimed at 90 degrees, and the number three is aimed at 134 degrees. In addition, two of the three may be separately rotated. They are selected by a six-position rotary selector. Also today on the transmit side, we'll be running our NOSWR specially oriented resonant dipole antenna. One leg of this resonant dipole runs broadside to Montreal, Canada. The other leg runs broadside to Miami, Florida. As we were constructing our station, our mantra was 20 over from Montreal to Miami with a hot spot through the Carolinas. And although conditions may vary, the general performance of this antenna supports its mission. Also today we'll be running our input source indicator. So when we switch from an internet SDR receiver to a local receiver, you'll be able to hear the switch and see the switch. You'll have to check it out on our YouTube QSO Vlog video. And as we come together for another Friday afternoon QSO Vlog network, let us pause just a moment for the amateur radio operator's prayer. Lord, we pray for clear 20 over S9 communications today. Let all our transmissions fill the air and reach their destinations QSA5 to be understood by all. As we pray for good radio conditions, let us also pray for good human conditions. During this time of pandemic that has challenged us all, we pray that you'll protect everyone, especially our elderly. And also, Lord, we seek your divine intervention to bring peace to a very divided United States. As we go through a very conflicting time in America's history, with dark clouds all around, we pray that you will reduce life's daily political QRM between our brothers and sisters. And through your love and guidance, show us the way to find peace and harmony. Help us to communicate with one another 20 over S9. Thank you, Lord, and God bless and protect America. Amen. To continue, since this part of the band has many nets trying to operate in a very confined area, I would appreciate all stations checking into our QSO VLOG net to keep their band pass to no wider than 100 to 2900. Again, please, no wider than 100 to 2900. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG network. And now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagation. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? <laughs> For the moment, I've got Captain Mike on here. Uh, almost a week ago as he was flying from Sacramento. No, no, he was uh, on the tarmac on a Boeing 767 two-engine cargo jet, and here he is in uh, Sacramento, and then I have a recording of him this today um, uh, as he was uh, uh, over, I think, to northern Illinois. Uh, yeah, but here he is uh, in California, I hope. He's in okay, four whiskey, Charlie, on the ground, Sacramento. Uh, we're on uh, 20 meters here, and you're 5, 9 plus, uh, Charlie, here in uh, Sacramento. Okay, now I've got another... Uh, uh, tape of Captain Mike I recorded uh, this morning. I recorded this morning, and I think at this point he uh, just crossed over from Iowa, and uh, he's going to be heading uh, just north of Chicago over Lake Michigan, but here he is in northeast uh, Illinois. Whiskey Charlie is definitely right over Rockford, uh, 40 miles uh, west of uh, Northbrook at uh, 390. And uh, we are showing right now uh, 680 miles from uh, Philadelphia. And we've got a really nice tailwind right now of 83 knots. So uh, across the ground we're doing uh, 530 knots. So uh, there you have it, Charlie. And uh, yeah, it was a really nice trip that came up uh, a few days ago from Miami down to Georgetown, Guyana. I'm wondering if... Uh, how you would do, uh, you think, down there on the northern part of uh, South America, if uh, you think that antenna would uh, 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 aim down in that direction towards uh, Guyana. South uh, Santa. Uh, okay, yeah. Illinois here at the present time. Just east of Lake Forest and uh, east of uh, Northbrook. And I did hear the, uh, the breaking station, the uh, breaker going in. Okay, um, here we go. Okay, okay so we're just going to the ground here and telling you that Okay, and there he was on the ground in Philadelphia. Did you copy any of that, Jim? K on G's at L. Yes, sir. I had a good copy. Uh, so far, I keep uh, both fingers crossed, Roger. Both fingers 
Fingers crossed, Roger. <laughs> okay, I understand. I understand. Uh, the mechanics these days, you never know what's going to happen next. I'm lucky I'm on the air as long as I've been on the air. Oh, boy, I'll tell you. Okay, uh, Jim, I won't hold it too long. There may be many stations trying to uh, get you, uh, but uh, you're very, very Q5 direct. I assume this is uh, uh, probably about 1,000 miles. Uh, we are picking you up. Uh, direct uh, without uh, the use of an SDR, as I have no uh, computer uh, operation here uh, whatsoever. So, uh, Jim is still busy. I did talk to Jim last night, WA3FET, but his plate is so full, so full, it's very hard for him to uh, get on. Uh, it might be two or three weeks or more before he can uh, join us, but he will eventually. Uh, KX4, double, I mean, that's the wrong station, KC9, VKV, uh, K1G, ZL, and it's always a pleasure, Jim. Roger, Charlie, before you go, uh, what is my signal strength up towards your way? my signal strength up towards your way? Uh, you're running 9 to 5 over, and the noise level's about an S4 to 6. Um, you know, a little static S4 to 6. But I'm copying you direct uh, on an antenna that doesn't have nearly the gain I do have with the quad. Uh, which is still out of uh, commission, but uh, nevertheless, uh, with a three-element wire beam here, only firing straight up in the air, designed for short skip, uh, you are peaking as much as 5 dB over S9 with perfect audio, I'm sure. Uh, in fact, you sound exactly like you do on the tube, uh, on the tube, uh, direct. I have you coming in out of a large speaker up on the wall, and you sound like you're, uh, you're right here in the room, uh, Jim. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Thank you, Charlie. I was just curious uh, what kind of uh, circumstances we find ourselves in today, uh, uh, propagation-wise. Thanks so much. Uh, appreciate it. 73 of that way, Charlie. Roger. Appreciate it. 73 of that way, Charlie. Roger. Well, Roger, the very best, and we hope to catch you next week. k one g at L. We are clear. Roger, Roger. And just a reminder, this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. My name is Jim, and I'm better known in some circles as Dr. VKV. And we are recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. And that will take you to our YouTube QSO Vlog page where we're currently featuring over 2100 QSO Vlog air check recordings. This recording will be cut number one in that series. And also we have a new series called KC9 VKV Highlights. That's Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word Highlights on a YouTube search. These are some of our less technical and more human nature philosophical kinds of QSOs. You'll have to check it out. KC9 VKV Highlights on a YouTube search. And this is uh, our QSO Vlog Net for Friday afternoon. And let's get underway. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. You want to check out? Give me a shout. Victor Echo 3, Papa, Charlie, Papa. Victor Echo 3, Papa, Charlie, Papa. Papa, Charlie, Papa. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, Papa. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, good afternoon, Jim. I'm glad that I was able to get through to you. And uh, hope that you're having a great uh, day down there. And uh, I heard you earlier having some troubles with your SDRs, and uh, that seems to uh, to be a problem sometimes. But anyway, I wanted to uh, give you a, a, a show quickly. I have a friend of mine on have your remote uh, this afternoon, and uh, uh, her name is Raisa. We're uh, doing some testing today to get ready for uh, for our uh, remote operation tomorrow for field day. So if you uh, have a minute, I will have her give you a call. She's using uh, Victor Alpha 3 Yankee Lima radio QSL. Roger. Yes, uh, certainly. Any time. Yes, uh, certainly. Any time. Okay, ready? So go ahead. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, this is Victor, also Team Yankee Lima Radio. Uh, good uh, afternoon, Team. Uh, your report is 5 and 9, 5 and 9. My name is Raisa Romeo Alpha, Italy Sierra Alpha, and I am running remote 
say she's from Ontario, uh, but I am uh, located in St. Petersburg, Russia, and my Russian call sign is Radio 1 Bravo India Golf. How do you copy me? Oh, I copy you just uh, perfectly there from Krayosha. Uh, very, very nice uh, audio, Roger, Roger. Very nice uh, audio, Roger, Roger. Uh, uh, Roger, Roger, thank you very much. Uh, nice to have this opportunity uh, to talk to you. Uh, and uh, you, uh, you um, I am also uh, your colleague through the YouTube, YouTube because I have uh, the YouTube channel too, and uh, try uh, in many different ways to promote our wonderful hobby. Thank you, you, Tim. Oh, wonderful, yes. And if you would like to hear your beautiful audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call at a search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook, it will take you uh, directly to this recording. This will be cut number one of a series of uh, 2100 QSO Vlog air check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded to YouTube by uh, tomorrow noon. Roger, Roger. By uh, tomorrow noon. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. I have uh, already found your uh, channel and uh, subscribe to it and uh, uh, we uh, will uh, watch uh, the video tomorrow. Thank you very much. Uh, my best wishes to you, uh, 73 and 88, and hope to meet you uh, again. Bye-bye. Uh, Roger, Roger, YLR. You're certainly sounding mighty good back this way. Thanks for checking in. And uh, gosh, we'll say uh, uh, 73 to you. You have a great day, great afternoon, and a beautiful weekend coming up. Beautiful weekend coming up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, have a nice uh, weekend, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, and uh, PCP, you still there? Yeah, she's uh, she's going through my station. So, uh, uh, as I said, we're uh, we're just testing the setup. Uh, we're going to be uh, using uh, the remote as one of our stations for a field day tomorrow. PSL. Yes, sir. Technical quality is just just perfect. Absolutely uh, perfect. Uh, she was uh, as as clean as you were uh, an audio reader. As clean as you were uh, an audio reader. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, it's good. It's all going through the same computer, so. Uh, so that's, uh, that's good, and uh, she has a good quality headset that she's using. So uh, anyway, very good. Thank you very much for uh, being there this afternoon and, uh, and giving us the radio check, and uh, we certainly appreciate it, and we'll, we'll look forward to the recording tomorrow. So 73, and uh, carry on. We'll talk to you later on. Uh, KC9, VKV, uh, VE3, PCP is clear. Roger, Roger, PCP 73, sir. Thanks for check checking in from uh, Ontario. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VlogNet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. You, know, you want to check out, give me a shout. Kilowatt in uh, November, Charlie. My name is Jason. And I'm in somewhere at Stan, North Carolina. And uh, I don't know if that was about 10 seconds or not, but there you have it. And I'm working a Kenwood TS440S with uh, almost resonant dipole. Roger, Jason, I am copying you on my uh, local antenna, my uh, 134 degree uh, aimed uh, 10 foot vertical magnetic loop. Uh, you are about 8 dB over my noise level, so it's a pretty good signal. It is coming and going though, it's not uh, just solid there, so uh, we do have some um, fluctuating propagation. But uh, if you would be interested in our setup procedure, it, it starts with you uh, checking out to be sure that you're in the 100 to 2900 uh, bandpass mode. 100 to 2900 on your bandpass, Roger. Well, I'll tell you, what you can do is make a note to self that you want to run that radio in the 100 to 2900 bandpass mode. Uh, if, uh, you know, if you, if you have that, I'm sure you have that uh, capability, and that would be the best. I mean, you, you might even have a capability of running even a higher uh, bandpass than that, but we don't recommend that. We recommend the uh, 100 to 2900. So uh, you could make a note uh, to check that uh, at your leisure. Roger. 
Alrighty, so then we would proceed to your compressor on and uh, at a th you know, 3 out of 10 or 30 out of 100, depending on how, how your nomenclature is set up on the input uh, uh, control for your compressor. Roger? I got you. I understand. All right, let's forego that and go to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And you want to set your ALC for mid scale to two thirds as you say the magic word audio. Audio spoken just as you would say a, a normal word in your QSO language. Don't stress it, just audio. And uh, mic gain in hand, adjust your ALC for mid scale to two thirds. Roger. Roger. Now, now you, uh, Jason, you've got to use the official word. You've got to use the audio word. I have spent a great deal of money and time in coming up with just the perfect word to calibrate your ALC, and it's audio. Excellent, yes. Uh, the ideal sweet spot is halfway between mid-scale and two-thirds, but you can't just hover on that location, so we give you a fluctuation of mid-scale to two-thirds. And uh, it looks like you're, you're there because uh, you have a 3 dB dynamic ranges, and that's what we're looking for. Now, if you wanted to go to, well, let's see. Why don't you give me about 10 seconds and let me listen to your audio as you tell me about your uh, antenna system. Roger that, uh, Jason. Well, gosh, uh, copied your audio. You know, you are with that mind, that do one of four. You are mostly uh, mids and upper. There's not not a lot of bottom end at all. So, uh, but I'm sure that you're uh, looking specifically for that uh, audio curve, or you wouldn't be running the D104, Roger. Roger, Roger, Jason. Well, gosh, you know, we've got all kinds. Somebody just put the old uh, jammer on. You know, I just, you wonder why uh, people are so antisocial. I mean, they must really have some kind of a psychological problem uh, that uh, they uh, just can't stand, uh, you know, speaking uh, in, in live and they have to use a, a machine to generate garbage. 
But then I guess they have a lot of garbage in their lives. I, I don't know. But anyway, Jason, I think you've uh, got it going on, buddy. Uh, that uh, microphone is doing you exactly what, uh, you know, those uh, D-104s do uh, for mids uh, and uh, articulated uh, for sure. So I wouldn't... Uh, I wouldn't bother re-EQing that. Uh, it, would, it would take some extensive uh, a bass push to, uh, to bring that into uh, some kind of uh, flat configuration. So uh, the way you got it is, uh, uh, sounds really good. I mean, for, you know, that, uh, that uh, frequency response range of the uh, D104. And if you want to hear your audio as best we can, if you go to YouTube and do a call it a search for uh, KC9VKV followed by the word highlights. Uh, this uh, will be cut number one of a series of 2100 uh, QSO VLIGO check recordings. Roger. Roger. Um, I switched microphones uh, while I was listening to you and this is the uh, this is my little hand mic here. This is the one I'd like to set something up for Vox with. Alright, are you looking for uh, like a QSO EQ or you still want to do a contest with it? Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, if you go to your EQ, uh, we can expand that microphone. Uh, what type of EQ do you have? Is that a three band, four band, eight band, sixteen band, or, or what? I have a button that says processor. <laughs> oh, I love these manufacturers that give you so much leeway in. Uh, uh, Presenting your own uh, program is—is it, is it simply, really simply on and off? Roger, Roger, the will. Uh, <laughs> uh, try it, try it on, uh, and uh, give me. I tell you what, the best thing to do: give me a ten count, and at five, uh, between five and six, switch either it on or off. You know, so I can hear five with it on and five with it off, just to see what we got there. I can do that. I'd like to hear it tomorrow sometime myself. Um, one, two, three, four, five with it on, and six, seven, eight, nine, ten with it off. Roger. Now, I didn't necessarily hear a bunch of... Uh, uh, of um, control differences, I mean, as far as uh, your audio uh, frequency response, it, it seemed to me it was more uh, a level change than anything. It seemed to be lower on the second half uh, of that uh, transmission. Uh, first half, uh, I think the first half, uh, however that is, I think you should run it probably that way. Roger? No, Roger. So the one through five, then. It's not nice to to uh, play on an active frequency. Please, if you would, just uh, shift up five or somewhere. But uh, on an active frequency, please don't. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, Jason, uh, the one through five sounded best. Roger. Okay. I will probably try to take Maybe I got a camera here somewhere. Uh, I live in a camp of way up in the woods. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I'll either, I'll either find my boom or I'll go cut me a stick and figure something out. Oh, Roger, that's for uh, for the boom part of it? Yeah, I have cats too, so they'll love it. Yeah, for BNC, not sure if I needed to do that or not. Ah, oh, Roger that. Well, you know, uh, whatever uh, whatever floats your boat, uh, I'm sure you will come up with something that uh, works well. Roger, Roger. Nah, yeah, Roger. Some guys like to put their uh, put their uh, their gears on a piece of wood or plexiglass. Ah, Roger, Roger. Well, gosh, uh, you know, and and you can do all kinds of uh, uh, clever things in in woodworking. That uh, sometimes, if you know, you're working in metal, it uh, really uh, um, becomes almost impossible, Roger.
Yeah, now you got to keep in mind, uh, uh, wood uh, does not uh, isolate your um, uh, stuff, uh, you know, from RF. Uh, that's the one good thing about metal. It does shield, uh, you know, things from uh, RF, Roger. Roger, Roger, Jason, let me say 73 to you, sir. Thanks for dropping by if you want to hear your audio. If you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording, uh, and it will be cut number one of a series of 2100 uh, QSO like air check recordings. So let me say uh, 73 to you, Jason. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And this is uh, KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Station uh, calling, uh, come back one more time with the call sign. There are two stations, uh, and uh, they're both uh, at the same level. I can't, uh, I can't copy either one, uh, but uh, uh, come up on mic and uh, try one more time. Kilo 4, Kilo Papa Delta. Kilo 4, Kilo Papa Delta. Kilo 4, Kilo Papa Delta. Kilo Papa Delta, this is KC9 VKV. What's the name there? All right, uh, KPD, um, I'm operating with like one hand tied behind my back, or actually three hands tied behind my back. I only have uh, one uh, internet uh, SDR receiver up uh, at the moment. Uh, I'm getting browned out by my local uh, um, provider. Should I say more? I'm, I have a... Um, I have a fiber optic cable in the back of my house that runs through, and I am going to be going to that fiber optic cable. I'm tired of, of playing with these folks. I'm, uh, uh, you know, just, uh, this is ridiculous being uh, uh, browned out. Anyway, uh, KPD, come back. Uh, what is the name there? Yeah, Kilo 4, Kilo Papa Delta. Uh, Jim, I just got this Kyle headset. I was using a desk microphone, an Icon SM50. And I was hoping to get some feedback. Okay. Yes, sir. I've got a good copy on my local antenna there. Uh, what's the name? Yeah, my name is Christian. Christian. K4KPD. Okay. Yes, sir. Christian. And uh, where are you located? I'm located in Dallas, Georgia. Yes, sir. I would, in, in better days, I have a uh, SDR right there that would probably uh, be, you know, you'd probably be 50 over on it. But anyway, uh, Christian, what uh, radio are you running today? Yeah, I'm running an ICOP 7300, Jim. Alrighty, and you just got a new headset? Yeah, I just got a Heil Pro 7 headset, and uh, I just transitioned to this from a uh, an ICOP 7 microphone, the SF50 model, and uh, I had that one done pretty well, but I'm trying to get that. Roger, Roger, sounds pretty good. Let's just go through a couple of items to uh, set up. Do you know that you're in the 100 to 2900 uh, transmit band pass? Uh, are you familiar with that? Yeah, that's affirmative. I am. Uh, I'm in that band. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay. Then uh, what we would like to do is uh, go to your compressor on and add a three. Compression on and add a three. Roger. Roger. It is currently set at three. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Now, uh, I want you to take that uh, boom mic, uh, as it is, and try to extend it as far out from you as you can, directly out in front of you, and at the last minute, uh, make a 90 degree. So you want to try to get that uh, the mic element as far away from your lips as possible. Roger, Roger. Okay, Roger, Roger. I just did that. All right, now I want you to go to your ALC with uh, mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, audio, audio, spoken as you would speak any other word in a QSO, and don't stress it real much, just say it, audio, adjust your ALC from its scale to two-thirds by way of mic gain manipulation as you say the magic word. Audio, 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 how about that? 
50% right there, uh, Jim. All right, we want to be slightly over 50, mid scale to two thirds. Uh, mid scale to two thirds, so set her just a little bit hotter. Uh, audio, uh, audio. All right, hold on, let me turn it up a little bit more. And again, don't stress the word. I mean, just say the word as you would say any other word in the QSO. Audio, audio, audio. Yeah, now you can elongate the A part, the audio, you can elongate that part for sure, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Audio, audio, audio. I'm about uh, 62% right there. Over. Yes, sir, sounds just beautiful. Now, why don't you tell me about your antenna system for 10 or 15 seconds. Let me listen to you. Yeah, Roger, Roger. It's an uh, off-center uh, in-fed wire uh, off the back of my house. Uh, and about 25 feet, uh, it goes out about 135 feet into the back of the tree. Uh, the tree elevation is probably about 50 feet. So uh, it's just a long wire, simple long wire, uh, 25 feet off the house, up to about 50 feet into the tree. So I hope it's All right, now just out of curiosity, what is your actual mic gain reading? Uh, mic gain is at 75%. Over. Yes, sir. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, uh, you're sounding really good. I like uh, that sound. Uh, I can't really tell that it's a, uh, a headset microphone, a boom mic, uh, which is what I'm assuming what you want because, uh, you know, a lot of those uh, headset mics uh, do have all kinds of uh, mouth noise and stuff like that. But yours, I, I can't can't really tell it's a, it, that is a, a, a headset mic, right? Yeah, Roger that, Jim. I've got the... Uh the, the TX treble set at plus five, and the TX bass set at minus one. Uh, do you think they should be tweaked, or do you think they're about right over uh, I think it's just absolutely ideal. I wouldn't touch it uh, any further. I think you got it, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. I, I do appreciate it, Jim. I appreciate your time and your contributions to the hobby of Yes, sir, and if you want to hear your radio in that uh, nice uh, boom uh, microphone, if you go to YouTube, do a call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one of a series of 2100 QSO V-Log recordings. Roger? Yeah, Roger that. Uh, on, on your system right now, am I, am I 5 by 9 or am I over 9, or what, what am I coming in on your local antenna? Uh, um, gosh, it looks like about uh, 12 over. See, uh, I don't run a bunch of RF in my front end, so my uh, S-meter is really useless because uh, I have reduced uh, RF going in just to avoid overload. And uh, so what I do is uh, I've got your level set at zero on a um, VU meter. And when you see speaking, uh, it, the meter falls down and I'm reading noise. And you're 12 dB over my noise. Roger. Roger that. Well, well, outstanding. Well, I appreciate it, Jim. Thank you for your time. Yes, sir. It's a good, good signal. Today is not a necessarily a great day, and you're doing, you're doing very well, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Thank you very much. Kilo four, Kilo Papa Delta. Roger, Roger. Kilo Papa Delta, seventy-three, sir. Have a great afternoon. Beautiful weekend. It looks like Milford is still hanging, and I'm only running one SDR to keep from uh, overloading my system, quote unquote, because of my. Uh, my brown out uh, because of my provider but anyway uh, so I'm just going to run the one uh, Milford SDR and uh, so this may not be the best day in the world for reception but under the circumstances uh, if I l if I load more in there if got the other three SDRs uh, the other three SDR receivers uh, it uh, just uh, all stops so I'd rather have one than all stop. Anyway, this is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOCnet. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. I want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, K4HEW. There's a K4HEW, and what's the name? Roger, Joe, H-E-W, and you're um, in the, um, your uh, van, uh, your uh, RV, is that a Roger? Van, uh, your uh, RV, is that a Roger? Uh, Roger, Roger. 
We are in uh, the Raleigh area in the RV. Roger, Roger. Well, you're uh, 3D dynamic range. You're right on target there. You're uh, in very intelligible, articulated in, in your audio curve. Uh, and again, like I'm saying, I'm using a Milford uh, right at the moment as a, a receiver, and you look to be about uh, 5 or 6 dB over Milford's noise level. Roger? Roger. Roger, sounds good to me. I think you got it going on. You still running the uh, 7300? Roger, signal has fallen down to about uh, 3 dB over the uh, Milford uh, noise level, about 3 dB over Milford's noise level, but uh, still readable, Roger, Roger. Yes, sir. Absolutely copacetic. You, uh, you're uh, looking at your audio. Uh, your that 7300 is just so beautiful. The the limiter on that 7300 is so, just so beautiful. Stonewall. The peaks just come to that one place. It uh, got set for zero, and they don't go anywhere else. They're just right there against the wall, and it really sounds sounds nice and clean. Very full, but uh, absolutely clean. Roger. Roger, Roger, Joe, 73, sir. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend, and lots of luck on your uh, your net running here coming up. Uh, I'm sure you'll do a great job. This is uh, KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOC net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. November X-ray 8 Bravo. Okay. November X-ray station, uh, try uh, the call again slowly, phonetically. Roger, Roger, John. The reason I used to have folks repeat their call sign is uh, sometimes in the beginning it's kind of like a, a cattle um, a call and there's a bunch of call signs in there at the same time. So usually I'll repeat part of the call sign back so the person knows who I'm referring to and then they can say their call sign. And it'll be in the clear when I edit the piece uh, uh, to uh, go on uh, YouTube by itself. Uh, so they start with a nice clean call sign uh, piece of audio, Roger. Dyslexic, I think, anymore. So yeah, I get I get them wrote down, but um, sometimes they're not correct. So uh, <laughs> nature of the beast, I guess, of getting old. But uh, yeah, we just talked the other day. I want to stop by and just say hello to you, and uh, and 
on your report. Yeah, you've been running strong here. So, team here and uh, running pretty good. So, uh, I just make it real quick, say hi, and uh, get a quick report and uh, tell you to have a good day there. Over. Hi, I've got you on my local antenna, uh, John, and you're really sounding good. So I want to get some more audio from you since you're sounding so good. Uh, would you happen to have a radio story that you could uh, tell us? Well, um, yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, I, I invented a um, new mousetrap dipole. So, uh, yeah, I think I might have told you about it. I'm not sure, but um, 30 foot off the ground and uh, dipole one to one ballon and take that ground side and unhook it from the pole and drop it down to a 45 degree angle and you can work the angle back and forth just a little bit to fine tune it with your coax and um, you know, let's see just real quick I think we're around about 400 watts or so and um, Yezu 3000 and the great big 811 amplifier there. So uh, this is NX8B, and back to you. Roger, Roger, John. Nice audio curve. I got a really good copy. You're like uh, 20 over. So just just really clean, and I uh, really enjoy uh, copying the mail on you. Uh, like I say, your audio curve is uh, uh, couldn't be better. I uh, really like that. And uh, uh, I'm on my 134-degree uh, 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 aimed 10-foot uh, vertical magnetic loop, and like I say, you're about uh, uh, 20 over. It's like a, like a telephone you know, it's that, uh, that kind of a deal. No noise, hardly at all. And I think you'll uh, really love it uh, as you check it out on uh, my uh, YouTube, uh, Kiss of you like net uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, do a KC9VKV call search uh, along with the word logbook after the call sign. And that will take you to this recording and we'll get it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger? Very good. Yeah, very good. Appreciate that. So, um yeah, just nothing, nothing fancy on this end. I used to have all kinds of fancy equipment, but um, I do have the NRAD microphone from DX Engineering, the 629. So um, that's the only thing uh, extra I put with the radio, so that is all. Have a good day, 73, and thank you very much for what you're doing, KC9 VKV. I hope I got that correct, James. NX8B, over. Roger, Roger, John, perfect. And uh, what radio was that you're running? Yes, the FTDX 3000, 3000. Roger, now get that windscreen on there. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, I tend to slobber a little bit, so... <laughs> I thought about that before I started calling on the, on the radio. Just got home a little bit, you know, so... Uh, thank you. We'll take your advice fully, and uh, I'll make a note here, too, by the way. Thank you, NXA. Be clear. Yes, yeah, so that's the only thing I could uh, think of to uh, that you would need would be that uh, uh, foam windscreen on there to uh, cut down on uh, uh, transients. But uh, I wouldn't change anything else. Uh, just, uh, just perfect. Just get the windscreen on there. 73, John, and uh, thanks for dropping by. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSOV like net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, let's see, there was a station checking in. I, I'm under um, duress this afternoon. I only have one of my uh, SDR receivers running uh, along with my local antenna. So uh, uh, that station calling, uh, try it one more time, please. Uh, just, uh, I was on my local antenna just right at my noise level. I went over to uh, Milford. To try me on Milford. Let me hear you. Lima. November 3, Charlie Alpha Lima, and uh, what's the name there? Alpha Lima, and uh, what's the name there? Uh, the name here is uh, Cal, Charlie Alpha Lima, just like the call, Jim. Uh, good afternoon. Roger, Cal, and uh, where are you, sir? Roger, Cal, and uh, where are you, sir? Uh, Jim, my location is uh, Lexington Park, Maryland. I'm in uh, southern Maryland, about uh, an hour southeast of Washington, D.C. Over. Roger, Roger, Cal, and what radio are you running today? Roger, Roger, Cal, and what radio are you running today? Uh, I'm 
a newbie here. I've got an Anon uh, 7000 Mark II uh, SDR radio over. Uh, Anon, uh, what was the uh, rest of that? It was a non uh, 7000 uh, Mark II, uh, the latest version of the uh, Anon 7000. Over. Yes, sir. I got you down there. Now, uh, if you would, uh, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about uh, your uh, antenna situation and let me listen to you for a minute. Your uh, antenna situation and let me listen to you for a minute. Okay, QSL, Jim. Uh, antenna here is a uh, 40 meter. Uh, Double bazooka, inverted V, up about uh, 40 feet, uh, oriented uh, northeast, uh, southwest, over. Roger, Roger, Cal. Well, gosh, uh, buddy, you just you just scored 100%. You don't need to do nothing. You've got it all set up just perfect, Roger. Got it all set up just perfect, Roger. Uh, okay, QSL, uh, audio levels seem okay to you uh, there. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, a learning here. Uh, there's a big learning curve with this radio and, uh, and set up. So uh, if uh, it's sounding all right, uh, we'll leave it where it is. Over. Yes, sir. It's sounding beautiful. You have a 3 dB dynamic range, which is just absolutely perfect. It means your average percent of peak modulation is 80 to 85 percent. Audio is just absolutely crystal clear, and uh, you couldn't ask for better if you would like to hear your beautiful audio. If you go to YouTube, do a call to search KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. This will be cut number one in a series of 2100 QSO Vlog Air Check recordings, and we'll have it uploaded to YouTube by tomorrow noon. Roger? Uploaded to YouTube by tomorrow noon. Roger? Okay, QSL, Jim. Well, thank you very much. We do appreciate you being there and all you do for Ham Radio there. Thank you so much, and uh, we'll wish you all the best. Have a great uh, afternoon, and uh, we'll check out the video there by tomorrow. A KC9 VKV from November 3, Charlie Alpha Lima, 73. Roger, Roger, Cal, 73, sir. Thanks for dropping by. If you get a chance, uh, join us next Friday. Love to have you. This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. You have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. November, November, West Virginia Mobile. There's a West Virginia a Mobile there. Um... Uh, something in in. Come back with the call sign slowly, phonetically. In. Come back with the call sign slowly, phonetically. Delta. Take. Victor. November. November. Got uh, kilo delta eight. Uh, need uh, the letter after eight. Kilo delta eight. Uh, need uh, the letter after eight. Victor. One more time, sir. Victor, Victoria. I got you. Kilo Delta 8, Victor, November, November. Roger, Roger. Eight, Victor, November, November. Roger, Roger. Ted Roger, sir. Transmitting from Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, roger that. And uh, what uh, is the name there? Uh, roger that. And uh, what uh, is the name there? Sierra, Tango, Echo, Victor, Echo. Yes, sir, Steve, and what radio are you running in that mobile? Yes, sir, Steve, and what radio are you running in that mobile? Kenwood, HX 480. What's the prefix to the 480? What's the prefix to the 480? HX. Phonetics. Uh, mobile uh, jack in the box, not made any longer, sir. Roger, Roger. Give me the uh, the, uh, the prefix uh, in phonetics, please. The uh, prefix in phonetics, please. 
HX, Roger. HX is a hard couple of letters to uh, to get out there. Uh, that's why we need the phonetics on those. Uh, phonetics just make it uh, obviously crystal clear what it is. The uh, HX uh, is sometimes hard to differentiate, but uh, when you put them in phonetics, it does uh, great. So uh, that uh, mobile's doing you a good job, Steve. So uh, that uh, mobile's doing you a good job, Steve. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, we're transmitting out of a Honda Odyssey. We have a, a Hustler in the center of the roof through a puff. Alrighty. Uh, do you um, sound like you might be running that compressor just a little hard? Why don't you key the microphone for three seconds? Uh, don't say anything. Just let me listen to it. Uh, key for three and no audio. I mean, no no speech. Three and no audio. I mean, no no speech. Disconnect my stereo. I'm running the uh, the unit through uh, the car speakers. I will now key the mic as suggested. Roger, Steve. Uh, okay, do you, uh, can you control that? Uh, uh, what we'd be looking for, the mobile is um, like a noisy, you know, it's a, not like a studio, so uh, you might want to check and uh, see where that uh, compressor level is. We'd be looking for something around, uh, uh, probably in a mobile, about a two, a two on the uh, compressor input, uh, Roger, Roger. Two on the uh, compressor input, uh, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. We'll try to find it, sir. We're driving. <laughs> All right. Hey, put it on your list of things to do at a safer time, Roger. Things to do at a safer time, Roger. Again, Roger, sir, I've heard you uh, on the radio prior to this occasion, and uh, I consider it an honor that uh, you have taken the time to uh, advise. Roger. Well, gosh, you're doing such an excellent job. Uh, you're 3 dB dynamic range, uh, so you're right there. And like I say, the only thing is, uh, you know, you're in a mobile situation, so you probably want to, I would normally recommend a 3, but in your case, I would recommend a 2, just to uh, keep the uh, uh, the noise down uh, from the mobile application. But you're really sounding good. Like I say, 3 dB dynamic range, which means your average percent of peak modulation is somewhere around 80 to 85 percent. Your audio curve is uh, very intelligible. I wouldn't change a thing. If you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, Roger. I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, Roger. Sir, I'm a little nervous. Thank you very much for the uh, comeback and the advice. Kilo, Delta 8, Victor, November, November, transmitting from West Saigon, Virginia, on your final, sir. Roger, Roger. Uh uh, Steve, uh, 73 that way, sir. Thanks for dropping by. And again, I don't know if I mentioned it, but but uh, you need to do the call sign, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, followed by the word logbook. KC9 VKV, followed by the word logbook, will take you uh, uh, to this recording. So 73, Steve, safe uh, driving there. And uh, uh, if you get a chance, join us next Friday. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO VLOG net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Uh, gosh, uh, station calling. Uh, I went to my local antenna. I'm back on Milford if you would like to try again, please, sir. I'm back on Milford if you would like to try again, please, sir. I can hear you back in there, but uh, we need to uh, work on your uh, your audio just a little bit. Uh, come back, uh, come up on that microphone. Give me your call sign slowly, phonetically, sir. Give me your call sign slowly, phonetically, sir. Station calling, this is KC9VKV. If you can copy me, uh, come up on your mic and uh, try your call sign uh, slowly, phonetically. Call sign uh, slowly, phonetically. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, too far, um, too far under uh, for me to copy. You're, you're about a half a dB over uh, the uh, Milford SDR noise level, so it's just not enough to grab onto to uh, pull you out, sir. Uh, maybe uh, later, if my signal comes up to you, uh, you might try again. But right now, uh, um, we, you know, uh, we'll have to say uh, 73 for the moment. And like I say, if my signal comes up to you, give me another shout. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon kiss of Net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. I think there was a Delta Oscar station in there. Delta Oscar station, come back slowly, phonetically with the call sign. Station, come back slowly, phonetically with the call sign. Would that be uh, KH0 uh, Delta Oscar? K zero uh, Delta Oscar. I understand you're going to change antennas. Okay, so I'm hanging out uh, as you uh, punch up the uh, number two antenna. Hopefully, uh, you'll come up 20 decibels. Hopefully, uh, you'll come up 20 decibels. Okay, this is Kilo 8 Delta Oscar in Hemlock, Michigan. The name is Doc, D-O-C. Go ahead. Well, Doc, gosh, you did. <laughs> you came up about 20 dB. Uh, where are you located? 20 dB. Uh, where are you located? Hemlock, Michigan, near Saginaw, Michigan, near where your thumb and your forefinger come together on the back of your left hand. Yes, yeah, sure. Now, I want you to check your frequency real closely. We're on 71... Uh, 88.00, 0, 0. 71.88.00, sound like you might be just a little high. Zero, zero. Sound like you might be just a little high. Okay, I'm a little high, let me come down one and see what happens here. Uh, this radio is going to go in for service, I just thought I'd give you a quick call. Uh, there, I came down 100, uh, see if that made any difference, go ahead. Actually, you need to go the other way, same amount, other way. Actually, you need to go the other way, same amount, other way. Okay, I went up 100. How's that? Yeah, yeah, close enough, close enough. Uh, and what radio is that, uh, uh, Doctor? Uh, doctor? Yeah, okay, obviously we don't have a good circuit here. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the call. Take care there, my friend. K8 deal. Now, don't run off. Don't run off. Uh, what is the name? I need to know the name. Go back to where you were frequency-wise in the beginning. Go back to where you were frequency-wise in the beginning and uh, give me your name, please. Frequency-wise in the beginning and uh, give me your name, please. Well, my name is uh, Doc, D-O-C, Delta Ocean Canada. They call me that when they don't call me other bad names. Yes, sir. They call me uh, Dr. VKV also, and sometimes worse. I understand exactly where you're coming from. What radio are you running today, Doc? You're coming from. What radio are you running today, Doc? This is my dear departed mother's uh, Kenwood TS-140F. She was a school barm. She taught English for 40 years. At age 70, she decided to become a ham radio operator. She got there in six weeks. I bought her this radio. And 16 weeks later, uh, uh, 16 months later, she passed her amateur extra in front of the FCC. Okay. Now that is amazing. That is really amazing. How old was she when she uh, uh, took her first uh, uh, ham test? Uh, took her first uh, uh, ham test. She only took one, uh, you only took two of them. Uh, one for her general, uh, she was 70 years old, and one for her extra 16 months later. Unbelievable, unbelievable. And that, that just out of curiosity, how uh, often was she on the radio? Did, was this like uh, something that she had always wanted to do, or just uh, uh, decided to, to do it as a, a lark? I decided to, to do it as a, a lark. Okay. Um, she was, she was retired down in Florida, and I was up here in Michigan. She wanted to talk to me, and so I said, well, get a ham radio license, and I'll, I'll buy you a radio, and I did. We later moved her up the, up the radio chain, but this was her original, and uh, I, I've got to go a uh, second. I've got a phone call here. Hold on. 
Roger, Roger, Doc. Well, listen, it may be an emergency, man. They may be uh, calling you uh, for um, a lung transplant. <laughs> I'm not sure what you're, what you are, but uh, uh, good to talk at you, sir, and a good story about your mom. Uh, that's just amazing uh, that she would be uh, interested in becoming a ham radio operator at uh, 70. I, I thought I was a late bloomer, uh, but uh, that certainly has me uh, has me beat. Uh, that's uh, just a beautiful story, Doc. If you're there, 70. Sir, and if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call and a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, it will take you to this recording and we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. 73, sir. This is uh, KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon kiss of VLOGnet. My name is Jim, Dr. VKV in some circles. And if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. And if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hello, Jim. Hello, Andy. Echo. So, yes, the uniform? Got the Kilowatt 8 Echo uh, uniform. Is that a Roger? Got the Kilowatt 8 Echo uh, uniform. Is that a Roger? Echo, Juliet uniform. Hello from Ohio. Yes, sir. Echo, Juliet. Uh, Victoria, uh, and uh, you're from uh, Ohio, is that a Roger? And uh, you're from uh, Ohio, is that a Roger? I echo Juliet Uniform, echo Juliet Uniform, Larry, Larry on this end, over. Roger, Larry, okay, my I, I formed my U rather uh quickly and I couldn't make out what exactly it was, you know, uh, you know amongst all the doodles that I do, I, I sometimes doodle too much and I can't tell my doodles from call signs sometimes, but anyway Larry, what radio are you running today sir? But anyway Larry, what radio are you running today sir? Okay Jim, okay Jim, roger, roger, yeah, I'm using the A2 DX10, DX10, uh, just 100 watts to Mosley Triband Dipole, it's uh, 60 feet, over. Roger, Roger, Larry, sounding mighty good. Uh, let's uh, review a couple of things if you might be interested. Uh, uh, first, uh, make sure that you're in that uh, 100 to 2900 band pass transmit mode. 100 to 2900 transmit band pass, Roger, Roger. 100 to 2900 transmit band pass, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Okay, well, I have to check that. Uh, it sounds like we're overdoing it. I'll tell you what, uh, John, uh, Larry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord. One of those afternoons. I'm, I'm under great duress here because I only have one of my four Internet SDR receivers operable because I'm being browned out by my local uh, Internet provider. And when I bring up all four, they lock. Uh, so I'm just running one to keep, but rather have one than none, if you know what I mean. So I'm only on the uh, Milford uh, uh, PASDR, uh, and I copy you uh, on that one. Uh, so, uh, you know, if uh, you wanted to uh, make a note to, to check that band pass, transmit band pass, as uh, being 100 to 2900, you can do that. Uh, make a note of that and check it later. Roger, roger. That, uh, make a note of that and check it later. Roger, roger. Yes, sir. Well, don't run off. We want to review a couple of more things, Larry. Uh, one would be, the first would be to go to your compressor on and add a three. Compression on and add a three. Double check to be sure that's what that is, Roger. Add a three. Double check to be sure that's what that is, Roger. Ah, uh, I really don't know how to get to the compressor, tell you the truth, Jim. Yes, sir, Larry. Okay, that's note number two. <laughs> note number two, uh, compression on and add a three. Compression on and add a three, note number two. Uh, note three would be to go to your ALC. I'll just give you notes here, and you can do it at your leisure, because I think you're probably running a new radio there. Uh, note three, go to your ALC meter with mic gain in hand, and as you say the magic word, Audio, 
Adio. Spoken as you would speak any other word in a QSO. Don't stress it, just say it. Adio. And adjust your uh, ALC meter from mid scale to two thirds operation by way of uh, mic gain control. Mic gain control to uh, manipulate. Uh, you bring that ALC meter mid scale to two thirds as you say the magic word audio. Roger. Say the magic word audio. Roger. All right, there. You still got a copy, buddy? This is Casey 9 bkv I'm on uh, Milford. Now I'm going to move over to my local antenna, see if I can copy uh, Larry up in Ohio. Local antenna, see if I can copy uh, Larry up in Ohio. Well, I got you back, Larry. I got you back, man. You, you're going to have uh, uh, some notes there to go through, Roger. Roger, I think you got three or four notes, Roger. Yeah, Larry, I understand you're having trouble with your uh, power amp, uh, your PA, so uh, hopefully um, you could receive the notes, and uh, that should uh, guide you through if you just follow those notes uh, sequentially as uh, I've laid them out to you. Uh, that should uh, do you, uh, and uh, then uh, join me next Friday. And so I can listen to you and see how all those uh, those numbers uh, after you input sound, Roger. So those numbers uh, after you input sound, Roger. Ah, Roger, Roger. Okay, Jim, thanks for your help. Uh, look for you another time. Baby, stay you. Thank you. Roger, Roger, Larry, and if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube, do a call into search KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of uh, 2100 QSOV like air check recordings, and I should have it uh, uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. And I should have it uh, uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Roger, Roger, Larry, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. This is the Friday afternoon. QSO via like net. If you have a radio, you want to check out, give me a shot. If you have a radio, you want to check out, give me a shot. November 3, Tango, Foxtrot, see here. Well, November 3, uh, station, uh, come back slowly, phonetically with your call sign. Uh, Phonetically with your call sign. Uh, November three, Tango, Foxtrot, Sierra. Name's Edgar, Landover, Maryland. Land and by. Roger, November three. I, I, uh, give me that call sign one more time. I'm missing the last letter. Uh, uh, give me phonetics uh, on the call sign again, please. Give me phonetics uh, on the. Please. November 3, uh, Tango, Foxtrot, Sugar. Well, Sierra, whichever comes first. I got you there. Uh, and what's the name, uh, Roger? First, I got you there. Uh, and what's the name, uh, Roger? Uh, name's Edgar. Edgar. E D G A R, is that a Roger? EDGAR, is that a Roger? Uh, yes, sir. Alrighty, Edgar, and uh, what radio are you running today, sir? Alrighty, Edgar, and uh, what radio are you running today, sir? Uh, we have the uh, 7300, uh, the Icon uh, 7300, and uh, uh, we're talking on a, uh, a f uh, 40 meter wire. Feed up. And uh, uh, that's all we got uh, out there, just the wire. And Not nice to operate on a frequency that's in operation. Putting it about Not maybe nice uh, about 400 watts. And it, 
N3 TFS, back to you. Roger, Edgar, yes, I had some uh, inconsiderate folks that were tuning up on an active frequency, but uh, hopefully they have w moved off five uh, clicks or so. Anyway, Edgar, uh, 7300 sounds pretty good. i tell you what, uh, why don't you give me about 10 to 15 seconds uh, and tell me the thing you like best about your radio and let me listen to you for a moment. I like best about your radio and let me listen to you for a moment. Please do not tune up on an active frequency. Do not tune up on an active frequency, please. Do not tune up on an active frequency, please. Edgar, you still have a copy, buddy? Uh, N3 TFS is back. Uh, yeah, we like the radio. It's, 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 we got a screen there, the, the waterfall, and, and uh, it seems like it's pretty easy to operate. Uh, and uh, I like the, uh, uh, the graphics. Uh, and uh, it's it's not a heavy radio, and uh, you know you got I have a handle on it. I can carry it around, and and uh, I can use uh, field day with it. And it's it's uh, and then uh, I like the uh, you know the the bands. You know, very easy to to, to operate on the bands. You just touch, and uh, you know uh, it's a it's a pretty nice radio. I, I enjoy I enjoy talking on it, and. Uh, I did have a, uh, a Kenwood, but the Kenwood, uh, 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 the Kenwood radio I had, I was transmitting on it, but I, I wasn't able to receive anything on it. So uh, something is inside which is not working on the Kenwood. Um, and 3 TFS back to you. Roger, Roger, Edgar. Well, looking at your audio, everything is beautiful, except uh, you might d need a little more top-end EQ. Uh, do you know where your uh, tone control page is on that 7300? Uh, do you know where your uh, tone control page is on that 7300? That's uh, transmit uh, tone control single sideband. Into the menu. That's, uh, transmit uh, tone control single sideband. I would have to go into the menu on that tone control. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Uh, let me just give you a note, uh, and then you can process it later at your convenience. Uh, would be uh, three clicks treble boost from where you are. Three clicks additional uh, treble EQ boost from uh, where you are at the moment, Roger. Treble EQ boost from uh, where you are at the moment, Roger. Ah, uh, Roger, we hear that. Okay, mighty fine. But uh, I'm I'm glad we're uh, in there <laughs> in the uh, in the box. That's for sure, and uh, and, uh, and not uh, too far out. Uh, I'm going to uh, well, the mic gain is uh, my mic gain is 50 percent. Uh, that my comp uh, C O I M P is uh, right in the middle, and monitor is. Uh, my monitor is not, uh, it's probably about 25%. Uh, and 3 TFS back to you. Yeah, Roger. Uh, that compressor, you could probably pull that compression level down to a 3. That's usually what we recommend is a 3 on the uh, compression. And you, as far as your monitor, uh, you might want to turn that off. If that's uh, your uh, monitor for your audio, uh, I would turn that off, Roger. Our monitor for your audio, uh, I would turn that off, Roger. Now, I, I say that, Edgar, I'm assuming that you're not running a, a headset. Is that a Roger? Edgar, I'm assuming that you're not running a, a headset. Is that a Roger? I, I did those all the tone steps here. Oh, how do I sound now? Any different uh, in 3 TFS standby? Yes, sir, I think you might have hit your VFO. We're on 7188.00. 7188.00, Roger. Zero. 7188.00, Roger. Hello, Edgar, 7188.00.
Well, I don't know. It's hard to figure out. Edgar, uh, there are a few options there. Maybe Edgar got stolen by gypsies. Maybe he retired. I'm not, I'm not real sure. Earth to Edgar. Uh, do you copy, sir? Sure. Earth to Edgar. Uh, do you copy, sir? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm back to you. I, uh, I should have locked my uh, wheel here. I, I went off frequency. <laughs> but I'm back. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do suggest that folks use their lock if they're talking for more than 30 seconds to someone uh, to get that lock on there just to uh, prevent that. Roger, roger. Uh, so uh, let's see where we were here. What, what was the last thing I was talking to you at, bud? We were here. What was the last thing I was talking to you at, bud? Yeah, you, the monitor. That's right. You want to turn that monitor off. Your your uh, your monitor. You you do not want to use that because it just uh, uh, disrupts you. Uh, even if you're well, gosh, I don't know. Are you wearing a headset? Are you wearing a, a mic a boom mic with a headset? A headset. Are you wearing a, a mic a boom mic with a headset? A negative. Okay, so you want that monitor off. Turn that monitor off because uh, it just uh, will give you um, uh, stuff that you don't want to be broadcasting. So uh, turn your monitor off. Um, I'm, and I'm assuming that's your, your monitor for your audio and not your receive audio. Roger, roger. Your monitor for your audio and not your receive audio. Roger, roger. Roger, I got the uh, monitor uh, uh, off, really, all the way back to, uh, it says... Uh, Two percent, really. <laughs> yeah, I would take it on off. I would take it. It's got an off position, I believe. I would take it off or zero, whichever comes first, Roger. I believe I would take it off or zero, whichever comes first, Roger. Okay, it's zero. Zero percent. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, let me give you a, c uh, a couple of other uh, ideas about that 7300. Um, you want to be sure again, take that note, uh, you want to check the transfer band pass, that it's in the 100 to 2900 mode, 100 to 2900 uh, transfer band pass. You have other choices, but uh, I suggest taking all of the, those two other choices also at 100 to 2900. So you cannot operate that radio in any other mode than 100 to 2900. That is where it really shines best, Roger. Okay, I wrote that down, okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, gosh, I have such a beautiful signal on you. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a radio story for me, would you? Signal on you. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a radio story for me, would you? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> All right, all right. Gosh, you have such a beautiful signal. I would just love for, you know, to have a, a little radio story from you. But anyway, Edgar, you're sounding good, buddy. You got that 7300 uh, uh, trekking along just uh, perfect. And if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube, do a call or a search for KC9VKV followed by the word logbook. That will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2100 QSO check recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Recordings, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger. Okay, Roger. And uh, you said my, my mic gain should be uh, 50%. Is that right? No, your mic gain should be exactly where it is. Uh, you're just perfect. Just leave everything like it is. The only thing is you need to crank in a little top end EQ. Three clicks of uh, treble EQ from where you are. Roger. Three clicks of uh, treble EQ from where you are. Roger. Okay, Roger. Okay, thank you for the information. I appreciate it, and you have a beautiful afternoon. Uh, N3TFS is clear. 
Roger, Roger. I wouldn't touch anything else except that uh, boost, three clicks, uh, treble EQ boost. Uh, that's the only thing I'd do. So, uh, uh, 73, sir, thanks for dropping by, and uh, you have a great afternoon, a beautiful weekend, and we got to get out of here. I see by the clock on the wall, there's a dead fly. Ooh, so we do have to get out of here, and uh, we just want to say uh, for all that participated, if you want to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call at a search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one in a series of 2100, and uh, we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. So, by saying that, we have got to get out of here. We will... We, Hello! We will be returning uh, this frequency to normal amateur radio use. This is uh, KC9 VKV clear. This is KC9 VKV clear. KC9 VKV real quick. Uh, KC9 VKL. A station calling, I uh, come back again uh, with your call sign. A station calling, I uh, come back again uh, with your call sign. Yeah, it's uh, you can call it Kilo Alpha 9 Victor Vigo Lima. Located up here in Elkhart. Just uh, testing the field day right here. Well, 70, ICOM 7300. I haven't fired up in about a year, so I'll give it a real quick check there, Joe. Roger, Roger, uh, VTL, and uh, you got a 7300. You haven't run it in a year, is that a Roger? Well, and uh, you got a 7300. You haven't run it in a year, is that a Roger? Roger, I bought a uh, 7610 and I've been spoiled rotten, so this is about the first time in a year that this 7300 has been on the air. All right, uh, real quick there, VTL. Uh, uh, do you have that word, uh, uh, what is it, uh, on your uh, dial there? Um, quick, you have a, a button marked quick? Oh, there, um, quick, you have a, a button marked quick? Yeah, I do. All right, and that will take you to uh, drive. Take you to drive, and what is the number at your drive? Take you to drive, and what is the number at your drive? Okay, let me check here. No, it's not letting me go to drive. Uh, no, no. Uh, Redrive. Re uh, that's what you need to do. In other words, hit quick and tell me what uh, drive uh, is reading. You need to do. In other words, hit quick and tell me what uh, drive uh, is reading. Okay, fifty. Five zero. Five zero. Yeah, five zero. All right. Uh, you can you move that up to six five. Can you move that up to 6.5? that up to 6.5? Can you move that up to 6.5? Uh, let me... This thing is... I forget how to operate this thing. <laughs> uh, VTL, uh, what's the, uh, what's the call again, please? VTL, uh, what's the, uh, what's the call uh, again, please? Alpha 9, Victor Tango Lima. Roger, Roger, Victor Tango Lima, and what's the name? Roger, Roger, Victor Tango Lima, and what's the name? Dennis, Doug Echo, November, November, India, Sierra. Roger, Dennis, and where are you located? Roger, Dennis, and where are you located? I'm located up here in Elkhart, Indiana. Elkhart, Indiana, right up by the city uh, airport. He's just about to throw a rock and hit me. Roger, Roger. Okay, uh, and uh, so I'm getting ready to lose uh, Milford, I think. Uh, let me just see if I can uh, avoid that. Uh, avoid that in the future. Uh, in the future. <laughs> How do you avoid something in the future? In the past, I've avoided that. I think I have uh, saved the day again. We shall see. Uh, but uh, uh, did you manage to move your drive up to 65? Uh, did you manage to move your drive up to 65? No, I, I, I hit quick, but it's not the uh, same menu as my 6500 sketch. Uh, you were on the 7610, is that a Roger? Uh, you were on the 7610, is that a Roger? No, I'm on the 7300. Okay, disregard. I thought you said you were on the 7610. Uh, 7300 doesn't, doesn't have that, I don't think so. Uh, that, I was going to give you a little um, 
uh, jump on things uh, on the uh, 7610. But since you're on the 7300, sir, I can't do it because I don't think it has that facility, Roger. 100, sir, I can't do it because I don't think it has that facility, Roger. No, it does not. It does not. This is uh, pretty much uh, uh, 7300 and uh, the last... Uh, uh, frequency response set up that it had, and I think it was set up to run on the MC30 mic, which is on my, my 7610. Let's think about the 7610. It's the only rig I run anymore. I'm spoiled. Yes, okay. Well, when you get on that 7610, you got to go to a quick and then to drive and set your drive at 65. Roger, Roger, when you get to the 7610. And set your drive at 65. Roger, Roger, when you get to the 7610. Yeah, I, I think I've already done that on that one. That, that one is uh, pretty well shut up. But uh, the audio seemed to be okay in the second one this rig. Oh, yes, sir. Just perfect. I wouldn't change a thing, sir. And if you want to hear it, again, go to YouTube, do the call letter search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, take you right to this recording. And we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, roger. Right to this recording. And we'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger, roger. Okay. All right, great. Thanks for the uh, report and uh, the time, and we'll maybe catch you uh, later down the log. Uh, KG9 GRV from KG9 VTL. Roger, Roger. Call sign is Kilo Charlie 9 Victor Kilo Victor. Roger. Victor Kilo Victor. Roger. Roger, Roger. All right, Dennis, 73, sir. Have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. And uh, we got to get out of here. We're turning this frequency again back to normal amateur radio use. This is KC9 VKV Clear. Radio use. This is KC9 VKV Clear. KC73QI. Roger, Roger, QI, 73, KC9 VKV Clear. Roger, Roger, QI, 73, KC9 VKV Clear.